Welcome to our fourth video on Access and creating an application for keeping track of our business. I'm going to go to Google Images now and search for something called an invoice form. What does an invoice form look like? Well, you've seen whenever you buy something from a company, they give you a receipt. And so your invoice or your invoice form would look like this. We have the customer name up here, and then we have a bunch of line items in here about things that we've purchased. We'll probably have a date and probably have an invoice number. Let's look at some of the other examples that we would see on the internet. Here's another one. It looks similar. The name of the customer. We have a specific list of things that we're going to do. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. Another invoice that says we have an invoice number. The same idea. Who was the salesperson? What did we buy? And this whole list here will be um, maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 3. Some, some number of items that are on the invoice and then we calculate the total. So this is what we'd like to create here in the next step of our program. So now let's go into our program that we've been working on and we're going to start by creating a table called the invoice table. So I'm going to the create menu and choose table. First thing you do when you choose design view is that you have to save it. So I'm going to call this the invoice table. Inside the invoice table, we're going to have an invoice ID number. So each transaction will have its own invoice. We should probably have the word date of sale. That's probably important to know when did we do this. So let's change this format to date time. It's also important to know that who our customer is for this particular invoice. So let's say customer ID. And now we already have a list of customers in another table. We have the customers table. And so the ID is going to correspond to this table. So it'll be another relationship. Like before, we're going to choose a lookup wizard so that we can choose which table we're going to get this information from. So I'm going to leave this check that says, I want the lookup field to get the values from another table. Which table am I, go am I going to get this data from? Well, I'm looking for customer IDs, so it would make sense that they are in the customer table. Which fields am I interested in looking at? Well, I'm going to need customer ID, but I'd also just like to use the last name and the first name. So I don't need any of the rest of the stuff. How would I sort these customers? It would make sense to sort them by last name. Now, in this case, I'm going to leave this check mark checked that says hide the key column. We saw that using the ID number was okay to see how the computer actually looks up these numbers, but for most purposes, it's probably simpler to leave that key hidden. Let's leave this as the name shows. Let's make sure integrity is checked so that way you have an invoice number that matches each customer and click finish. Let's save it. Now for these three items in our list, this will match pretty close to what we see on the top half of most of the invoice examples that you would find at a business. It shows the customer name shows the invoice number, and it shows the date. All the stuff that we have down here in the details of the invoice, we're going to leave for another table. So for now, we're just going to use these three. Let's close this table. And let's go see what happened in our database tools. Choose relationships. We'll see that nothing appears to have happened at first. We have the vendors and the products. Let's go show some more tables. Let's show the customer table and let's show the invoice table. Now you'll see that there's a relationship between two more tables here. The customer table and the invoice table. So this is a one-to-many relationship which means that one customer can have many different invoices but each invoice is exactly related to only one customer. Now this is only half of what we need for an invoice. We need also a table of all the details. Let's save the changes here. Now let's create a new table. This one I'm going to create and I'm going to call this thing the invoice details. On the invoice details we're going to have a table showing the details for each separate invoice. So first of all this is going to be called 
invoice detail ID. So every table starts with an ID number. The first thing I care about is according to which invoice am I dealing with. So I'm going to say invoice ID is next. We're going to look up that from another table. So I'll choose lookup wizard. I'm going to choose pick from another table. This time I'm going to select from the invoice table. I'm going to say this is the only field that I'm interested in. Click next. It won't matter how I sort this since there's only one field. And now it's going to show the invoice ID. Let's also always check this and finish. Let's save it. Now, other details. After we have an invoice ID associated with this, we're going to have a list of things that we sold. For instance, we're going to have a product. What product did we sell to our customer? So we're going to get that product from the products table. So we're going to have to do another lookup. This time we're going to get the lookup from our products. And we're going to use the product name as well as the ID. Let's sort by product name. And let's leave it as this. Let's enable integrity and finish. So once I've figured out what the product is, I want to know about how many of each of these products we're going to purchase. Quantity is a new field. And this will also be a number. So the quantity, we'll choose number. We'll add some more fields when we create the form. But for right now, this will work. So let's save this. Let's close our table. Let's go check out the database tools and relationships. We'll have one more table to add to this now. So let's go to our invoice details and let's just drag this onto the screen. And you will see that we have a relationship now between all of the tables in our program. And so this invoice details table is the most complicated it's also one of the most important parts of the application. It pulls information from the invoice ID number. It also is going to show the products that are on each invoice. Let's close this and we'll save the changes. I'm going to save the next part for the next video. It's the most complicated part. It's how to create the actual invoice form. We're going to create something that looks like this. We've already created the tables that are going to work behind it but now we're going to create the form. So let's do that in the next video.